Today I'm going to share with you guys my experience of flying business class on Turkish Airlines. Sometimes you get lucky and today apparently was my day. I've flown a lot but I've never got an upgrade like this. So all of this happened when I was in the beautiful city of Istanbul where I had the most incredible experience on street food and many other things. It was just something that I'll never forget. But then the time arrived that I had to come back to Miami. So this upgrade was a real treat and here's why. First of all, the airport on Istanbul doesn't feel like an airport. It feels like a mall, a nice mall with like a lot of bougie stores, you know, where I don't shop. <laughs> In all seriousness though, it is a very nice airport. Now the business lounge itself is insane. First of all, in order for you to walk in, you must scan your boarding pass. If not, obviously you can't get in. When you get in, you wanna store your luggage somewhere and this one looks like a jewelry store case, everybody. It's nothing like I've ever seen before. They have nice lighting and glass case for your luggage. Come on, man. That's like real bougie, you know what I mean? <laughs> but who cares about that, right? Let's go what we really care about, the food. Every single kind of drink you want, they have it. They have little kiosks of food and each one serves something different. This one they have mante, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, which is Turkish style ravioli, served with red tomato sauce. Those look really nice, but just in case you're not in the mood for that one, hold on a second. On this one we have lamb hamburgers, grilled chicken, grilled chili, and tomatoes and rice. And the best part, they'll cook it fresh to order for you. The Turkish hospitality is so nice. Now the salad bar is like next level because they have unlimited amount of goodies. We're talking about beef beets, tabule, pickled cabbage, unlimited amount of olives. It's no joke. You can literally find anything you want to eat in there. But one thing I really wanted to try was this. And then they have this right here, traditional turkey yogurt drink. Come on, we're going to have to try that. Mmm, get a sour. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting that taste. That caught me by surprise. It's a little sour, not sweet at all, and it's pretty good. They even have free entertainment for you. I'm telling you guys, I've never seen anything close to this. You know, usually in the airport, everybody, all I get to get is a coffee and some piece of bread. You know, that's what I'm used to. But when you see something like this, you like, it kicks you by surprise. It takes you by surprise. I'm running out of words on how to explain how I was feeling because I'm not used to this. This is insane. But if you think it was over and that's it, no, 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 no. There's more. But wait, there's more. They have desserts, baby. Here's some type of cookie, sweet, juicy cakes, baklava, everything you want, they have. And let me remind you, everything you see is 100% included. It's free. And the funny thing is that I wasn't that hungry, but one thing got my attention. I love it when I'm trying something for the first time. Huh? It's the same thing I just had. It's the yogurt, but it's bottled. It's pretty good. And even though it looked kind of cool, it was literally the same drink. I just had it on the barrel. I could have spent the whole entire day there, everybody. That's how much there is to explore. But right at this time, it was time to go because I got to catch my flight. Now I got inside of the airplane. The first thing I see is you have a little booth for you. You know, I'm used to like, like a sardine when you're in the back. You know what I mean? That's normal stuff for me, but you got a booth, everybody. Who has a booth? Oh, excuse me. They even have slippers for you on the ground so that you can change it, make you feel comfortable. Usually on my flights, they just give me some crackers. If you're lucky, because sometimes they don't even give you anything. You know what I mean? But here's the important thing. What's important is the food. Here we got all the appetizers. We got hummus. I think that's baba ganoush. Here we have some tomato soup. They also give you a little salad. Turbulence is heavy over here, everybody. Yo, the turbulence. Man, that was no joke. I don't know how everything stays on the table. It's like, how? The tomato sauce was good, nothing crazy. The hummus on the other hand, I was like, uh, just watch. Yes, I did had better. And one of the best hummus I've ever had in my life was with my brother Ahmad. He literally made a Wagyu hummus. Oh boy, that thing was rich, smooth, delicious. I wish, I wish, I wish, I, w I wish I had some right now because I'm starving, but I don't. <laughs> but let's get back to the video because the main dish was filet mignon with potatoes. Now this, this, I think it was done on purpose. Just watch. So I was able to cut it and come on now. That's like sad, everybody. That's just sad. Where's the juice? 
Now, to all fairness to the Turkish airline, I was never asked, oh, how do you want your steak? I don't think they give you that option for one reason. Every steak must be cooked the same exact way. And obviously, when you do that kind of stuff, you kind of have to please everyone. You're not gonna please the medium rare people, this guy. So I gotta understand that they must cook every single one of the steaks the most popular way. And unfortunately, the most popular way to have steaks in the world is well done. I'm trying to fix that. It is not easy. But hey, even though it didn't look that good, let's go ahead and give it a try. It's terrible. Yeah, as expected. After that filet mignon, I asked for another dish just to see what happens, and guess what? They gave it to me. It was a mushroom ravioli, and that was amazing. Now here's the great thing about Turkish Airlines. They will go out of their way to make sure that you have an amazing experience. And honestly, I did. They made me feel like royalty, everybody. Even though I'm a simple guy, it was an incredible experience that I am very, very grateful for. It was by far the best airplane trip I've ever had. And if you have a chance to get your seat upgraded, it. Take it. Trust me, you will not regret it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.